if it hadn't been for the five or six games, whatever it was that he played for the Rams down the stretch in the playoffs, yeah, I would say, God, no. He's he didn't even tonight. do that much with the Rams. Well, Stop. I, 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 I Boy, you say that every time. Oh, Stop. I, I, he I, was balling. There's, there's two things. Uh, there's, there's, touchdown there's, because they yeah, had a had Cooper the Cup. Game. It don't matter. He did his thing. The, you know there, that. There were two things here, right? So, I understand wanting to sign Odell to put some star power on the other side and, and, and make, make the wide receiver core a little bit better. Bull has a point. Can he stay healthy? I think that's a legitimate question. Can he stay healthy? But I will just tell you what, if you give me the choice of, of, of Hardman and, and, and Beckham, I'm only going one way. I'm going Beckham, and then I'm finding me another person. Find another that's cat. it. That's what I'm doing. This is but a package deal. You have already committed to making this Brown seem the best that you can in this short window of time. Because you yes, only got a yeah. short window of time. I don't time. need him to be good for three years. No, I got that. I'm, I'm only in the next, next 12 year. months. That's and, it. And, 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 that, and what you're going to pay him for, you don't even need him to be good every game. You got a number one receiver. You got a young dude in Donovan Peoples Jones. You got a tight end. You Man. still got Chubb. You don't need him to be Oh, You know what yep. you need him for? Give me seven games when is you he was not, cold. Is he going to complain when he doesn't get the ball? He, look, I ain't heard well, it. he has. That's his MO. Hey, hey, listen, it's a difference between complaining and you not getting the ball from one quarterback and complaining with the other one. Because that quarterback couldn't get nobody it's, to ride. It's, it's a difference between complaining and you ain't got a job. Right. <laughs> he done had two ACLs. <laughs> yeah. so I had a Rossini of ESPN. The Bucks have shown interest in both Baker Mayfield and Jacoby Brissett. Interesting. Bucks McNuggets, don't you? If you and listen, it's 12:08. Who no, starts more games here. this year, Jacoby Brissett or Baker Mayfield? Baker <laughs> what did he say? Who starts more games, Jacoby or Baker this Brissette. year? Brissett. I would say Baker does. I was disappointed when I was I read some quarterback columns and Brissett's name wasn't coming up a lot, just wasn't. Which means that there might be a window for the Browns to bring him back. Good, keep him right on up in here. In I would fold. love if they could bring Jacoby Brissett back. I would love that. And I I, I imagine they have a number in mind yeah. that if the bidding doesn't get to this point, we're willing to go. To whatever it is, bring you back because his familiarity in the system, mm -hmm. his likability in, in, the, the, locker in the locker room, room yep. and it's, it was a love affair between the fans and him last yeah. year. And he yeah. went four and seven. When was the last time a quarterback led the Browns to a four and seven record? And the fans loved him the way we love Jacoby Brissett. Yeah. Hey man, as long as they don't bring him in off the bench to throw corner routes, he played one. well enough for them to be seven and four. Yeah, he really yeah. did. He did. They kicked away three games that. If everything would have went their way and they can why you always, why kick. you always reminding us of that? I know because it hurts <laughs> because the difference between seven and four and four and seven in this it's league playoff run. It's three plays right, right. and it's the difference between being an also run yeah. also ran or and being playoff. in the playoffs. Right. No question. So it's it matters and I thought his play based on his play last year. I'm not ready to go in with Mond. I'm just not as the backup because you think I don't that, think they will. Well, just imagine if they do you all the excitement that we're talking about. They've made the right moves. They bring in this. They bring in that. They've got the defensive lineman. They've got the wide receiver and in camp. God forbid DW four goes down and yeah. then we're looking at Mond as the orchestrator. Yeah, this is you see. This is a great thing, man. Listen, the Browns are in a position where they doing something that, that is two different things shopping for your own house and getting stuff that you need just to hold you over or shopping because you got an event at your house. Okay. When you shopping, when you got an event at your house, you ain't looking like, ooh, this is six ninety nine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. No, you got people coming over. You can't be sitting here picking over different things. <laughs> I'll pick over six ninety nine if I'm eating it by myself. Look, you come in, they be like, G. Bush had a party at his house. That man had chips with no dip. <laughs> He 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 was rationing he was rationing the sugar on the, in that Kool Aid. Ooh. Only one and a half slices of pizza. Eat. One and a half pieces. <laughs> and, and you know what's bad when you got There's people serving. Sign next when, to the pizza box. When they when you got your aunties or your uncles up oh. there serving, putting it in the plate for you, that means there ain't no more food coming after that. That's right. We're gonna give you one slice a piece, and, <laughs> and, and you, <laughs> one you slice better make it last. Look, you better look. We got water over here. They're like, what happened to them sodas? Straight waters. You got one case and it's open. You pick it from it. No, we ain't got time for that. It's a so this we're is, shopping like people are coming over. Yes, over. we shopping like we got company hey, coming look, look, over. Look, look, look. Your boss is look, coming look, over. Look, it's, it's, it's like this. It says you go to the house and serve for liquor. It's, it's the bottom shelf. You know, you like, right. What brand is this? The top shelf is for us. That, what, what's burning that? Let's get this bargain basement what, what liquor. Right Wild here? Irish Rose. What is this? <laughs> Well, we will introduce the break in the NFL. It's a good time to remind you guys that the 12 o'clock lunch hour is sponsored by Colin Gracie. Colin Gracie, your official party. Northeast Ohio NASCAR team. Woo. I can't believe it's 12-11 and we haven't had a I told y'all, man, I know. this is looking bad. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, the first free agent signing is official. Falcons re-signed fullback Keith Smith to a one-year deal. Is he one of the I agent? told you, only agent up with the quality signings. <laughs> he said, like, hey, the, the Falcons signed Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat is now the fullback. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't he gas the Browns last year for 190 yards? Uh, the Patriots are expected to re-sign standout quarterback Jonathan Jones. He gets a two-year deal. Oh, my God. These, <laughs> listen, this is, this Wait, is Jonathan Jones. Jones. Isn't it back? Defensive I back. I thought, oh, it was, I thought he said standout quarterback. Uh, corner, corner. Oh, okay. Jonathan Sorry. Joseph. Uh, yeah, John, 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 Josh was Johnson Mac. was the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to John. Uh, let's go to John Johnson. He's yeah, cut. He's done. So, he's finished. He's done. He's done. They've Five done. years from now, is Baker yeah. a starter, a backup, or out of the league? Hell, I can't tell you that next year. Um, How can we tell five years from just now? Just a guess. Um, I'd say he's out of the league. He's probably, right? I mean, that's where he's trending. Guys who are first-round picks rarely stick around as backups. Well, typically, they go to bad teams, and they don't play well. Right. And then nobody wants to invest in them as right. a backup because, right. you know, the They're backups. They start. Look at Colt McCoy, for crying out loud. Right. That dude's still in the league. Yeah. yeah. He's like it takes a mindset, though. It's a certain mindset and, and to why? be a long-term backup. I'm not <laughs> it's sure. hard. The first-round picks yeah. rarely <laughs> become long-term backups. Listen, back, listen. Back hold on. They're old. And you are typically and very, you, very and intelligent. And you yeah. have the nerve to talk to me about Cardell Jones and Braxton. Why is Colt McCoy still around? Hey, you know why? Because he's smart and he can pick up he? offenses. Every team he <laughs> signs and they say the same but, thing. But can this he, guy came in here and picked how up about the, the offense the, how, about the, how about the key component? Can he play? Well, <laughs> there were times last year Colt, Colt McCoy came in and played and who? played well. Uh, anybody. He could give me a slew of people that from Ohio State. I like Colt McCoy well, could play dead at a funeral. He, he, you know, you know, he's well, a as, backup quarterback. He could play dead at a funeral. As your backup quarterback. He's pretty good this year. As your backup just, quarterback, they don't need you to be actually good, right? Mm-hmm. They need you. Your yeah. placeholder. To understand. Clear, your, clear understand your game. <laughs> See, you got to be likable. Right. You got to know how to play the game. You got to right. know how to speak. You got to know what to wear. Like it's you a, gotta ha- and you got to have that relationship what, with the starting quarterback. Right, you know what? That's you important. just described Jacoby Brissett. That's yep. that's that's the he important is the thing. Prototypical the, backup. Do you guys know who the Bengals' backup quarterback is? No, no. Brandon Allen. Who? Right. He played for the Broncos. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. He's not any good. No. But he and Burrow, and that they're counts. tight. That counts. You, you got you, you when they ask you a question, you, when, when nobody else don't want to talk to the media. Guess what they can get? Go the get backup it. quarterback. You are the starting quarterback hype man, really. You too. are the extension of the coaching staff in front yes. of Yeah, that's true. Now, if I don't, I'm already going to pay somebody I don't agree with. Like, yeah, my starting quarterback is very talented. I pay him a bunch of money, and he might be kind of, we don't know. But to my backup quarterback, I don't got to pay you no money. I'm keeping you around so you make everything else look nice and clean. And then you could tell me you could be a, a mole in the locker room. Yeah, I got you. You, you, you be <laughs> one of them dudes. What is he? A mole? He's a mole. mole. Yeah, he, we got hey, some actual stories. news here. Yeah. Oh, actual oh, news here. Oh, from Adam Austin Schefter. Thing? Austin Eckler, the Chargers running yeah. back, is requesting permission to speak with other teams about a potential trade. Yeah, good luck with that. After preliminary talks with the team aimed at a contract extension, the did running not back progress. Eckler's not really a good. good. Time the to running be able- back market is so sa- oversaturated. It's, it's dead. These guys are going to make no money. Yeah. None of dead. these guys are going to make big money. At That's why uh, you know you hear sometimes Browns fans will say, "Should we trade Nick Chubb?" What are you going to get for him? Nothing. I mean, it's he's, he takes a huge chunk of your salary. And the way the running backs are used in the NFL today, you don't want to build your team around a running back, and that's what the Browns did. Hey, they, they low key. Hey, first signing on the board. Sorry, Uh-oh. the Bears are signing former Eagles linebacker TJ Edwards to a three year deal. Edwards was actually that was a name that was a like real Browns. name to watch yeah. out for. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a Browns note here. It's not an official signing yet, but Troy Rank, who covers the Denver Broncos. Troy Rank. Okay, well, go ahead. Uh, Broncos' most coveted free agent is defensive tackle Draymond Jones. Denver has stayed in touch, but the Browns are expected to be aggressive in pursuit. He's in Cleveland. He's a Cleveland guy. Yeah. He's a Buckeye. He's, yeah. he's been linked to the Browns Saint in the offseason from a number of different, yes, from a number of different writers. I think that we, we had said earlier, what's the most likely guy? Mm-hmm. For me, it was Hargrave. Mm-hmm. For me, number two was Draymond Jones. Mm-hmm. And he can rush, I, rush I mean, inside, rush outside. Those guys he's are a both tweener. getting a lot of money. They're going to get paid. And that's the problem. Like, the Browns. Their area of need is one of the areas in the NFL where talent is just so hard to come by. Look at the deal I, I had written down, made a note. Who the hell was it that got ninety million? Sixty of it guaranteed. Yeah, Deron Payne. Which, and, yeah, and now right, I know right. he's a he's a pretty much a bar setter. Right. But when Payne got 
90 million for four years, 60 of it guaranteed to stay with the commanders. Yeah. That doesn't help the Browns any because it goes to show you that the market's thin at that position and the price tags going to be steep. But Jay, that brings me back to my point. At some point, you're going to run out. What are you going to do? to? Because you need many more pieces, right? Yeah. And if you using one or two guys to suck up all the cash flow, where are you going to get your other pieces from? Well, you've got three avenues, trade, free agency, and draft. Right now, we're talking free agency. Right. And for me, I think that either Jones, Hargrave, or Cox – You've got to come out of this free agency period with one of those guys wearing an orange You have hat. to have a short thing at that position. So yes. The so second guy could so. be how much, more of a question mark, but you got to have at least one short thing at that position. How much, I agree. How much, how much capital will be left to make Plenty. Moves? Well, I think there will be enough. We talked about the potential for the Browns to have $40 million of cap space. Right now it's at Up 22. to 50 if they restructure. Uh, yeah, I did see a number that said up to 50. I did that everything's got to go their way with these restructurings, and it's expected they'll happen like the Watson one did. If they get forty million in available space, that's a lot. Then I want two name free agents because that's twenty million per. And if you can't win with those guys and the rest of the roster, and one of them's probably a defensive lineman and one of them's probably a wide receiver. Yeah, and I mean, you've I, just well, the wide receiver is gonna the wide receiver is gonna be a trade. There's no free agent wide. Yeah, receiver. I think it's got to have to be a trade. I mean, I mean there are wide receivers available. If they want to round, I don't think if they want to round, makers. if they want to round out, say for I, I'm okay with swapping. Like if you said I'm gonna sign Paris Campbell to a more of a minimal deal and he's gonna take the, the place of uh, Anthony Schwartz, right? Fine, whatever. That's a swap. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. it. I like him better than I like Schwartz. And okay, but that can't be your top of the line. No, they got to no. get a big time wide receiver. Yeah. I think the two they have a they need a defensive lineman. They need a wide receiver. Yeah. If they can come out of this free agent period with one of the either Hargrove, Cox, or Jones. To me, if they miss on those guys, it's a big miss on free right, agency. Although. Uh, Tomlinson from Minnesota is another guy that they're targeting. He'd be a great fit. And perhaps DeFore, perhaps DeForest Buckner. Oh, Tomlinson no, no. from the Chargers. Uh, Lincoln Tomlinson? No, Dalvin Tomlinson. Oh, Dalvin, Dalvin Tomlinson. Tomlinson. Oh, there's two different Tomlinsons. Yeah, he, Dalvin Tomlinson. Dalvin from the Vikings. Who, yeah. Well, you actually had them signing in your perfect free agency offseason. He's my second tier. No, guys. I had Lakin Tomlinson from the Chargers. He's, my second, he's in my second tier of guys. My first tier is the three that I mentioned. Hargrave, mm-hmm. Cox. And Jones, and if you, you've got to get one of those three. And if you could get, I didn't know Buckner was in there. I like Buckner. He's uh, a trade. He's a trade. Yeah, yeah, I like that. He's a trade. If you can get that, whew, I'll take it. So maybe they, maybe they get Hargrave in a free agent deal or Cox or Jones. And could you imagine if they made a trade and got Buckner via trade? And then you still well, have money. Can, to sign. I don't think they can get Buckner and Hargrave. That would cost over thirty million between the two of them. Probably. Yeah, but if they get up to fifty million, you still have money for a wide receiver. I just don't think they're going to spend big money on two defensive tackles. I boy, I, all, I don't the, know, all depends on who's the best available. I think available. you spend big money on. I think you spend medium money on two, or you spend big on one, and then. A lower Nuggets tier has one. Two things real quick. The official numbers for TJ's Edwards contract with the Bears is in three years, nineteen and a half million, twelve guaranteed which gives you a little bit of a linebacker market here. For wow, the that's, that's good for the Browns. That's good for the that's Browns. That's only $6.5 per. Well, and but that, where, where is he in the pantheon of linebackers? He's pretty good. Of I those who were available, he's in the Now, he's not like in the Tremaine Edmonds, Jermaine Pratt range. No, but he's, get just more below, than that. he's just below that. But in that second tier range where they may go hunting for some uh, bargain deals, I guess you could say, I think that's a good number for Cleveland to work within the realms of. I and also, real quick before we go that, on, I'm Jay. I'm surprised at that number that he's not in Cleveland right now. Mm-hmm. Because of the Schwartz connection. Right. I just well. think that, that would have been – I would have loved those numbers for that quality of player. To if, It's an area of need for us. Yeah, right. they – maybe they're – I mean, they must be targeting somebody else is my guess. Go ahead, McNuggets. Point. What do you got? Yeah, last thing. We just got, we got a ton of people on. As soon as news breaks, we're going to hop in. we got almost 1,700 watching right now, wow. which is awesome. Shout out to you guys. Just a reminder real quick, we'll do it super fast, but if you're not a member already of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show, for a buck ninety nine a month, you become a starters tier. You get the custom badges and emojis in the chat. For four ninety nine a month, less than 60 bucks a year, you get all the same starter tier perks, overtime videos, member shout outs, discount codes for merch, and much, much, much more. Diana Rossini of ESPN says the Bears are targeting right tackle Mike McGlinchey, they're going. The Bears are going all in. Yeah, they are. They're, they're they're they have the most busy. cap room. The Bears are making moves. 
And if, they need to. I mean, yeah. Th- like you said it earlier, they've got holes. We well, they've they got, they got bigger things. They've got this. They've got the stadium issue in Chicago that's, right. that, that is driving the mayor out of office. Yeah. Right? He's gone. <laughs> He's out of here. Right? You move him out to Arlington Heights? Really? It's not going to work. We're going to move you out of Chicago. <laughs> yeah, you out of here. <laughs> See how it works. She yeah. kind of looked a little See how it worked. Like, she kind of looked a little like, uh, <laughs> the, like, who, like who? the, the, uh, Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw her picture. I'm like, My goodness. How did she win in the she first should, place? She should have been walking around uh, Soldier Field with a big side job. We're going to put a dome on this puppy and <laughs> make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that was shit of done. They're like, uh, oh, you're going to let them go to Arlington Heights. We're going to take all this money out of Chicago. <laughs> oh, I know. I want to ask you guys about DJ Chark. What do you guys yeah. think about him? Who? DJ, DJ Chark. Chark. I, li- I like him. He's o- I'm fine with him as the second. The second wide receiver edition. So you want a big name and Char? I, I would. Okay. I mean, I don't know if they'll do something that you know because he's a decent player, but he's, he's a very big inconsistent. And he's fast. Let me. I like yeah. him. Let me ask you this: Do you think the Browns hierarchy is feeling the pressure here? Hell yeah, they are. They better be. So, I'm looking for some splashes here. Not no medium. No, you know, medium isn't going to cut. Your Beckham piece, you know, some splashes here, right? Yes. Not just no medium size you know, pieces. It was interesting when I was in Arizona and talking to all the Guardians front office folks. Uh. Everybody agreed that they had two big holes in their lineup last year, yeah, and it's, I'm going to juxtapose the, the okay. Guardians to the Browns. Okay. Everybody agreed that the catching position and first base had to be upgraded. Okay. Had to be, and they made two moves. They went out and got one of the best available first basemen right. and one of the best available catchers. They addressed their needs. Check, check. Efficient. Everybody agrees. All the baseball folks that I talked to out there not related to the Guardians all said the same thing. This team had little, very little needs, and they addressed both of them. Okay. They could still add another bat. They could still add another pitcher. But the glaring weaknesses they got. catcher and first base. Well, so we me, know what the current. glaring weaknesses are for the Browns. Okay, mm-hmm. tell me. Wide receiver, defensive tackle. Very clear cut. Everybody agrees. Linebacker. Go address them. Keep up with the Guardians. Right. Go address them. What about the linebacker? Second tier need. What about the corners? Second. No, no corners, corners. No, not, corners. Were, safety. Safety is another second tier need. Another linebacker. We we need it, but that would be like the I Guardians needing another bat and another you. pitcher. The, the Browns need linebacking help and safety help. But other than that, the glaring obvious, you've got to address these situations, are defensive tackle and well, wide receiver. Well, don't forget the defensive coordinator. Don't forget the special no, teams coach. So, I was I mean, just so going to say that. I was just going to say that. Now, on the, you, people don't pay attention to, you know, Tito's staff. We right. have Tito, so we think we've got the best manager in the game. Right. So, we're flush there. But... The, that's why I said earlier, the Browns so far, two thumbs up this offseason. Two home runs. Yeah, yeah. They went out and got the best available defensive coordinator, in my mind. Mm-hmm. And they went out and got the best available special teams coordinator, in my mind. Okay. Fixing the two glaring holes in the coaching right, staff. Right. Now get the wide receiver, the defensive tackle. And if you can somehow, through trades or drafts, sprinkle in guys that can help at linebacker and safety, you've hit it out of the park this offseason, and you set yourself up for a season next year with all the turmoil in Baltimore, right. you set yourself up to easily be the second place that the team picked to finish second in the division behind the Bengals. They're not going to be able to do anything in my mind that's going to say, oh, you got to pick the Browns over the Bengals. Not before we know. Not before good, we know how everything plays out. Watt, but no, but I'm saying we're not going to know how good Watson's going to be until the season starts. So there's right. no way you could have right. put you them did. over the Bengals. That's what I'm saying. Until you know that. So if we can... Clearly, I think that we have leapfrogged the Ravens already. They've got turmoil with with Jackson. Certainly, if Lamar's not playing, and I think that they're ahead of the Steelers too. So, I mean, if they can check these boxes like the Guardians did, I I would say starting the season, I've got them at ten or eleven wins, and they're a clear cut second place pick in the AFC North. And 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 the reason I really feel like it's really imperative that you go get you a couple receivers too is because you want to put pressure on your quarterback too. You want to let him know, hey, look, you know, last year you was a little rusty. That's cool. But we're going to give you everything that you need to be successful. No excuses. No excuses. Yeah. Come on. You got right. this guy. You got this guy. You got office lineman. We ain't, we ain't switched nothing up. It's the same coaching staff. Now it, it's back to, because that quarterback, this is, when quarterbacks wear a C on their chest, what it means is, it means, hey, this is on youth to a large extent. Like, 
We, you, this is the position that really counts. This is the position we need to get the most out of. And we got to have you playing lights out if we want to compete with the other team. And if you give him the ingredients, guess what? He has to he has to perform. You know he what scares to. me about that, though? In, a re, in, in the old world NFL, you're right. Mm -hmm. There's pressure. But in this scenario, there's zero pressure. Mm -hmm. He knows four years from now when he looks at his bank account, there's going to be 230 million more dollars, no matter what the hell he does. But I, but and that I, scares me. But what, 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 what doesn't scare me is I think that he's a player that actually cares about. Yeah, so, so do I. He, he, yeah, cares, I he, he cares. Too. He cares about his his image. He cares about he trying to get it back. But he's and got a hell of a safety net. Yeah, he had that money make everything good. But he been rich. Let's be clear. He got a hundred and he had a contract before he got this one, right? Mm -hmm. Like the contract that he had was right, right under Patrick Mahomes. Once you get all that guaranteed money, it's it's up to the individual how motivated. Now right. it's a character test. Now you now you you want to know if I'm Deshaun Watson. I mean, I, I want to stick it to everybody that's been yeah. that's right. been got on me for the past. I, I year agree with change. that. We'll find out what he's made of because he's got every reason in the world to play at an All Pro level. Yeah, every reason in the world. And if he doesn't, the first thing people are going to start questioning is. Did he work hard enough? Does he care enough? Right. Or is he looking at right, that right. bank account? Because right, 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 right. last year when Denzel got the bag, we saw what happened. Yeah. He took a big step right. back. And whether yeah. it had anything to do with the money or not, we don't know. But we don't. That's the assumption people make. It's an with any athlete yeah. that signs a big contract, sometimes, sometimes when you sign a big contract, we've heard players talk about this. You put so much pressure on yourself, you're like, I got to live up to this contract. Maybe he did that. That you don't play well. Yeah. Well, you know, you can just hope that he's, in, in back in the laboratory perfecting his career. You know, I have not seen him around town. You know, I didn't see the period. You know, you you know, not at the Cavaliers. Denzel not, or no, Deshaun? No, Deshaun. No, no, not at the Cavaliers game. Right, you know, right. you usually Deshaun's see been all over the world. See, see, yeah, see Deshaun's somebody somewhere. on his Instagram world. And, and good for him, by the way. Good for him. Hey, if you can do it, do it. But man, you better show up and you better be, you better be putting in the work that we're not seeing. Because if your Instagram in the off season is loaded with trips to beautiful locales, and you come out, you're one and four, and you look like you did to end the season last year. Keep coming. It is on. And, that, coming, and that is why I Keep am coming. all for. I don't care if it's if you think Jerry Rice gonna get you got some left. I'm kicking the tires on everything moving. OBJ trades, get, get free agents. I need everything because what you want. See at this point, it ain't even. You mean talk about OBJ? OBJ don't. He's he's got what he's got. He already got a championship ring. Right, he, he's he's made a lot of money. He's gonna be famous forever. At this point in time, Odell, that is not that that ship is sailed with all these touchdowns and catches. You just want to come in and you want to prove that you still can play. See, that's a great thing about the league. Some people, once you get all the money, it's a lot of it's a lot of people on the Browns that had already got paid. Miles mm. Garrett, Denzel Ward, Nick Chubb, Watson got paid. The tight end that got paid. You you forgot OBJ. Did what he in that crypto game? Wasn't that what he uh, trying to get paid in crypto? Yeah, remember that? He, 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 he remember did that? I think I think you're right. right. He, he got paid. That's, a, that's why he needed his money by me. Hey, that, that contract. <laughs> yeah, he did. By the way, he did get that contract played in crypto. <laughs> right. For the Rams. Oh boy. And by the way, what a well, scam. Well, crypto's still solid. But it was just one crypto that went bad. That's hey, yes. I don't. I can't. Yeah. Listen, you know what? I hope, I hope nobody has. Hey, Money Jay, now. I don't, uh, I don't, I listen, I don't, I don't believe in make believe money. <laughs> I don't either. Like, you know, I've need, had investors, really smart, wealthy guys come to me and say, you need to be in crypto. Right. And I said, I can't see it. I, I, I can't hold it. I can't touch it. I can't buy nothing with it. I can't it. put it in my wallet. I'm cool. I'm cool, bro. I'm not buying no ghost <laughs> currency. Let's go back to what you were talking about. Here. When you are in repair mode. Mm -hmm. Trying to get better, right? Are you talking as a player now? Yeah, as a player. Okay. It's typically done behind the scenes, out of the eyes of others. Very few people see you yes. grinding. That's what it is. You're grinding. Right? Sure. You're grinding in the early morning sunlight, mm -hmm. late at night. Yeah. Just the, it's the discipline required. Everything right? you put in your body. Here it, here it is. This, this is what we're doing, right? And then we'll see the end result when the time is ready. So now if you tell me my man is flying all over the country or all, all over the world and, and the Instagram if it's lit up with everything. Yeah. I'm just doing basic math. Where's the where's the time? I, where's I, this I at? say the same thing now last year last two years 
one of the big knocks on Baker Mayfield was, and I'd hear it all the time, he'd throw a pick. If you weren't busy doing all those progressive commercials, you wouldn't have done that. But that was stupid. I mean, that, that is dumb. a bad that's criticism. A bad, that's because a terrible criticism. It, it, you can like, shoot six commercials in, in four a, days. In a day. And, and so you can take all those, you know. Yeah. So I don't care about the Instagram stuff as long as you play well. You play well. 